Welcome to Inside Insanity on 91.3 FM CJTR. I'm Jordan, your DJ, and this is our pre-Calgary Comic Expo show. We started the show today with uh, I Whooped Batman's Ass by Wesley Willis. Um, and, of course, the Calgary Comic Expo is this weekend, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. I will be there gathering interviews uh, for next week, but we do have a sneak peek guest tonight. This is the uh, Mayor of Quahog, very recent recent recipient on the of a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame, the original and, of course, best Batman. Adam West, welcome to Inside Insanity. What do you want, Jordan? I, was, was that a little too buttery? I demand to see your penis. <laughs> so, um... Was I give you a little shot of the mayor of co That was perfect. Um, speaking of him, one of the people on Facebook was uh, wondering... Is, do you get to ad-lib his lines, or how much of it is scripted? Because he's kind of insane. Uh, you know, there are some things I'd like to ad-lib. But, it's uh, look, with 40 writers who are really good in Seth, uh, it's not necessary. They give me lines that are almost impossible. But I think the challenge and the great fun is to find a way to do them, to keep them fresh. And you've been doing a lot of voice acting uh, recently, TV, video games. Do you enjoy that? I do. Um, you know, as you get older, and I'm, what, 47 now, mm -hmm. um, it's, it's very difficult to think about going on to a soundstage, um, maybe a location, and spending six months um, of lo lonely and afraid. Um, I, I ran across, going back to Batman, I ran across an old song called Miranda. Cheers, Jordan. You had to bring that up, huh? <laughs> I, I, sorry. Uh, for those Did you who, sing a little? I, I was going to ask you the same thing. Well, uh, maybe I could hum a little. <laughs> Let me see if I remember that turkey. Would you like to see my muscles dance, Miranda? I will get into your... No! That, that wasn't the lyric. <laughs> <laughs> that was that was kind of edgy, Jordan. <laughs> <laughs> that was kind of edgy for Batman. Um, yes, yes, yes. Now, I, I, a lot of people. Last year, William Shatner was one of the headliners here, but uh -huh. many people probably don't know that uh, Batman and Captain Kirk met before their uh, subsequent shows. Could, did you have any memories from Alexander the Great that you could share? Uh, yes, I do. I have memories of riding around in the desert at three or four in the morning full body makeup, nothing on but a thong, on Arabian stud, it, it was awful. But, you know, Shatner was good, and I was truly wonderful. Of course. Um, what do you personally get from, uh, from coming to these Comic Cons? Well, okay, that's a serious question, and it deserves a serious answer. I get an immense amount of personal satisfaction knowing that people um, of all ages love the show <clears throat> so that because I did the bright night and not the dark night it has longevity and we did it on as you know several levels and it uh, meant that uh, the, the characters remain kind of irrepressible and likable and people let me know that so it's flattering and at the same time it lets you know that all of the work that you did that paid off. Definitely did. And why is the character of Batman in all its forms, Dark Knight, Light Knight, comics, movies, cartoons, video games, why is that character still going strong? I think that Batman could be done in so many different ways. And um, I guess maybe revivals, if you will. Batman could be on Mars. Batman could be... Um, at a soup kitchen, uh, really down and out. I mean, Batman is a character that just lends itself to all kinds of imagination, uh, creativity, and invention, uh, as we did. And, uh, you know, there are so many ways that one can think of Batman and do it. A lot of my listeners uh, would know, it's a comedy show, so a lot of my listeners would know the uh, Mystery Science Theater 3000. And many of them would have seen the zombie nightmare version of Mystery Science Theater. Have you had a chance to see it? Do you know uh, the show? Y yes, I saw a bit of it. And uh, uh, just send the money. <laughs> what do you think when, when, when stuff you've done and put, put your heart into uh, gets parodied? I don't mind. Especially when it's well done. 
Yeah. You know, if, if people make an effort and bring in professionalism and talent and freshness, I don't mind at all. Um, I have to ask, because uh, Facebook demands it, um, about the Batusi. Do you still break it out when the mood hits? Are we going to see that this weekend? Uh, yes, but it's tough now that uh, I can't listen to Dick Clark's American Bandstand. <laughs> True enough. <laughs> um, That's an homage to him, by the way. Oh, yes, definitely. A big loss this year. Betty, Betty White and I used to love to dance to it. Nice. Um, okay, and um, two more questions. Uh, quick, is uh, there have been rumors, and I'm, I'm sure you've put them to rest already, but I'd like you to do it on this show as well, of a cameo in The Dark Knight Rises? Uh, as far as I know, uh, unless I was r- really kind of sleepy that morning, uh, I, I'm not aware of it. Okay, and this one is also from Facebook. Uh, Julie Newmar or Eartha Kitt? Well, Julie was our first always go with the first and yeah and and she did it the most times excellent thank you very much uh adam i look forward so forward to seeing you this weekend at the uh, calgary comic expo thank you for uh, being on inside there thanks